Call it a supersized hiring spree. Thank you. <laughs> Across its 14,000 restaurants, McDonald's was looking to hire 50,000 new workers. I need to be one of those 50,000 people. <laughs> and many saw a golden opportunity at the Golden Arches. I um, really need a job right now. McDonald's managers can make as much as $50,000 a year, but most restaurant workers earn about $8 an hour. That's 16000 a year. The word McJob is actually listed in the Oxford Dictionary, defined as a low-paid job with few prospects. The term McJob is definitely misunderstood, and we don't agree with it. McDonald's president, Jan Fields, who can still whip up. A wild berry smoothie started behind the counter in 1978. My story at McDonald's is not unique. 30% of our executive management started their career at McDonald's. So the opportunities are endless. But turnover reportedly is also high. By some estimates, 90% a year. Diashe Timberlake, applying for a job in New York, worked in McDonald's just a year ago. You left, obviously. Did you think you'd have to come back? I did it. But in January, she lost her seasonal job with UPS. What are you looking for today? Whatever they have available, I'll take. Because more than 13 million Americans are still looking for work. 50,000 net new jobs is a good thing in this economy, but it's just not going to be enough to move the dial. Economist Heidi Shearholt says the jobs recovery has barely begun. Last month, the economy added a little over 200,000 jobs. If we continue to grow at the rate that we grew in March, we would get down to the pre-recession unemployment rate in 2018. That's a seven-year climb. McDonald's single-day hiring spree may have some elements of a publicity stunt, but an economy still starving for jobs will take anything it can get. Katie? Anthony, thank you, Anthony.